embodiments of love and light, Sairam. And thank you for joining with us for another edition of Launchbox Eye Center's online satsang. As we prepare ourselves for devotion, let us be reminded what our Lord has taught us. He has taught us that we are all divine beings. The same divine energy and consciousness permeates through all of creation. Let us contemplate on this. Let us develop firm faith in this. And let us love ourselves because we are 100% divine. Allow that divine love to grow and emanate from within us. Allow it to touch each and every one around us. And let it spread peace and joy to all those that it touches. Saira.
respect parents. My mother wants me to help her do the dishes, but I'm in no mood for that. Mike, if your mother asks you a favor, then you should do it. Respect for parents is a tradition found in many parts of the world. The youngsters touch the feet of the parents as a mark of respect. According to ancient Indian culture, Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati have two sons, Ganapati and Subramanya. The parents one day decided to conduct a race for the two sons. Subramanya started to run with rapid strides. He was so fast that it looked as though he was floating through the mountains and valleys. But what was Ganapati doing? He ran quickly around the parents thrice and asked immediately for the prize. Both you and father are the whole universe to me. There could be no objections to this and everyone had to admit he was right. Respect and obey them and always keep them happy. Start today by trying to help them with household chores and by doing small tasks when asked. Sarah. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Today is the experience of Balbika student Santosh from Jharkhand who said that every child must be blessed with Balbika's classes. Santosh's speech was from a Balbika's perspective, talking about the tremendous impact the Balbika's brings in a student's life. He began, Om Sri Saira. My humble pranams at the lotus feet of Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba. Respected elders, dear brothers and sisters, I feel privileged to share my experiences and views regarding Satya Sai Balvikas classes. I have been associated with Balvikas right from childhood, and it, and it did start from the divine classes of Sri Satya Sai Balvikas. Truly speaking, I did in fact cherish those good old childhood memories. When my mother used to take me to Balvika's classes on a weekend, accompanied with a group of friends, we used to do a lot of fun loving activities. Just to put a few activities in perspective, games, chanting slokas, enacting plays, listening to great epic stories, which was simply amazing, and trust me, it did not have space for boredom at all. But there were a few questions which always used to strike my mind. I remember these questions asking to a lot of my gurus during my Balvikas classes. What is Balvikas all about? What is the aim of Balvikas? What are we expecting out of Balvikas? I am reminded of the answers stated by my gurus. Balvikas, in fact, is a Sanskrit phrase which means blossoming of child and its aim is to foster character development and inculcate spiritual transformation and at the same time it also inculcates self-respect in the students like me and the students who are all sitting in. A matter of self-respect so that students like us to become the masters of the mind and not the slaves of the senses and moreover, we have absolute control over sense of Love all, serve all was Swami's one of the prominent teachings throughout his existence in physical form. Let me tell you one of the perpetual memories which I gathered here at Prashanti Nilayam. I was a Balvika student and belonged to Bihar and Jharkhand Seva Samiti. Every year we used to come during Holi to celebrate the festival with Swami and it was then I was blessed with a chance to portray spiritual drama way back in 2006. The drama went on really well. Swami liked it. As soon as the drama got over, we all assembled near Swami to just take a photograph which we could carry back to our home and keep it as a memory for the rest of our lives. Swami came close to us and suddenly all the characters started interacting with him. There were a lot of interactions going on between Swami and the characters. Swami suddenly looked at me and smiled and asked me a very simple question. What is your name? To which I humbly replied, Gopi. Swami smiled again and nodded his head and says, said in Telugu, Chala Bhagundi. I was extremely delighted to listen to such wonderful words from Swami. Swami is grateful grateful love and shower of love made me feel so special. This signifies that individuals like me are all sitting here looking out for love. We expect people to shower love. We expect people to be graceful. We expect people to be polite. Because Swami also says, love can create miracles. All the learning that I have gathered in Balvika's classes is in fact became fruitful when I grew older. I had lots of challenges to face, maybe my education career, choosing the right college for my institution, commencement of professional career, 
I think Swami played a very vital role and helped me take very crucial decisions throughout my life. I passed out my year 12 in 2006 and let me tell you something more on this. I had two desires in life. I wanted to pursue, in pursue engineering degree and secondly, I also wanted to study in Swami's Institute, which was completely impossible because Swami's Institute does not have engineering courses. But still, I made my mind and I would do BSc because Swami Institute had BSc courses and only if I get admitted in Swami's Institute or else I will go for engineering. I came to Puta Party and gave my entrance exam but unfortunately I was not selected. I was ejected and was but unfortunately not selected. I was literally crying sitting there inside the mandir that particular evening. That is why I carried a lot of worries when I entered into my engineering course. Worry, worry as to how will I proceed? How will I do? Will I be placed as soon as I pass out of my engineering courses? But I did not lose trust and faith in Swami. That trust and faith did pay me back. I was awarded the gold medal for securing first class honors degree in my engineering. That is what Balvikas can do. As I said, it can create miracles. What better could I have asked for for Swami? Talking something about modern education, modern world, which is progressing at a very rapid pace, every individual is aiming high to have a great and very lucrative career, and I would say that is completely okay. We should aim really high in life, but dear brothers and sisters, I would also say that why not have intelligence in combination with spiritual knowledge? Intelligence and spiritual knowledge. The amalgamation not only helps you to progress at a very fast, fast pace, but also helps you to take very crucial decisions in life and become an excellent team member which I am sure everyone sitting here would desire to be. To all the youngsters, brothers and sisters, what do we aspire in life? What do we want to become? What expectations do we have from life? A good career? A decent job? A stable life? I think yes. Everyone would at least aspire for these three things. And trust me, all these things can be received through Balvikas. Having said that, let us not become hypothetical. Merely attending Balvikas classes will not fetch you so many things. You should in fact ask a question to yourself. What is it that you should you should in fact ask yourself? What is it that Balvikas is going to offer me? What does Balvikas have in store for us? Sri Satya Sai Baba classes would enable you to stay focused till you reach your goal. And as is the most important thing, when you actually want to reach your goal. All of us sitting here know what we want in life. We know our goals but we never stay focused or determined. Balvikas enables you to do it. Balvikas overall has got a tremendous impact on my life. Let's inculcate the virtue of setting examples rather than impressing the younger generation by mere preaching. Balvikas, let us be a part of such a wonderful education movement laid down by Swami, which has gotten so many things to offer at no cost. Before I end, I thank Swami for making me a part of his wonderful education system and I dedicate all my achievements at the lotus feet of Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba. I urge all parents across the globe that every child born must be blessed with Sri Satya Sai Bhavikas classes. Saram.
devotees. We have now come to the end of our online satsang. I truly hope that this satsang has left you feeling happier, more peaceful, and more loving. Thank you for joining with us. And until we meet again, I encourage you to do your daily devotion. Continue looking out for those around you who need assistance. Continue being good and continue to let your divine light inspire all those around you. Siren. Thank you.